The revelation that the Energy Regulatory Commission, ERC, had as early as April last year submitted proposed regulations for petroleum retail pricing lends a new twist to a story that has seen consumers bear the brunt of runaway fuel prices. We will not allow a rogue industry at the expense of innocent Kenyans. We are therefore warning the minister and the oil marketers to put their act together. According to the proposed prices calculated by the ERC, as per the formula forwarded to the energy minister last year, the maximum retail prices for fuel in Nairobi should be super at 94 shillings and 78 cents, diesel at 87 shillings and 87 cents, and kerosene at 76 shillings and 57 cents. The current retail prices are too high and there is no justification for recent increases. But while the ERC's admission mirrors what consumers have all along complained about, its failure to act sooner is what is now being questioned. But the commission insists it has done its bit. No, everybody has their own responsibility, and our responsibility, we did it. I think let's not look for faults. It is just, uh, sometimes it's policy. On its part, the government now says it will act as promised to cap the soaring prices. There is no reason why uh, fuel should go, you know, to about 100 and beyond. While the government's hardline stance on fuel prices is set to come as a relief to consumers, the mere fact that it is not yet known when these price controls will come into effect will make a difference to whether or not and for how long consumers will continue to pay extortionate prices for this commodity. And in an apparent response to the government's plan to check pump prices, Kenol Kobil has announced that it will by Friday slash its prices by up to five shillings in some outlets, but with a word of caution. We should be very careful on price control. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Live at 9.